Hey, it's JJ. Welcome to Age of Empires, the Asian Dynasties. Um, I'm doing Asian Dynasties because, like, it's my second favorite and because, like, I don't want my friends seeing me on. Well, one friend can see me on this game and, like, join me whenever, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, this is the game. Let's, uh, do a skirmish. I'll probably think of doing campaign one day. Level 35, but I've got cards to buy. That's right. So some of you are wondering, oh, Joe, what are cards? Well, I'm going to try and put this in the best way possible. So cards, they're basically... Uh, like, oh... Uh, what's, what is it? The empire you are serving. Okay, cards are basically, you serve an empire, and the empire's like, oh, cool. And, like, the more you help them and, like, work with them, the more cards you get. Like, the more cards you can choose and get. <clears throat> Which is why I really like this, along with build a deck. Uh, oh, yes, this is my quick game strategy you can tell because like the first two are overstacked and the last two barely have anything uh, that looks good difficulty easy just to like so I can explain things I'll probably do another one of these easy games so oh we're doing it teams no I forgot to turn that off well actually that might help me Um, before anyone's like, ah, oh, Joe, you're not that good. You're, you're right, you're right. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't know what to talk about for, like, Age of Empires. It's a great game, but I don't know. We have battled in these lands before. Regardless of the outcome then, this time my wrath shall overtake Ready. you. Ready. Iwo. Okay. Yes. Good to hear. Let's quickly um, grab this treasure. Uh, beaver pole, right? Forster. You get the uh, worth three coins. Okay. I cannot Kyle. read this stuff. Forster. That's probably not good with my overview Ready. audio. Forster. So for Age of Empires, on, uh, you receive. Well, yes. Age of Empires 3, you receive three resources. On, There's the money, right. the wood, and the food. Food, I'd mark as medium important. At the beginning, you really want wood. You also want to send out your explorer so you can find um, yes. one treasure, on, two yes. uh, places where you can build trading posts, right. and three, the most important one, the enemy. Because of course they exist, if you understand me. Yes. Okay, now that we've dealt with those, let's grab this treasure. Hey, right. that's still pathetic. Let's see, I need like okay, so treasures, they give you resources, they give you like healers you or won't. fighters, they give you XP. Now, what XP does is, of course, it gives you cards after you're done, but it, that green bar right by the British flag is going up slowly. Once that zero turns to a one, then I can receive a shipment from the queen herself of her finest tea. Ready. Although I'm more of a hot cocoa boy. Yes. And, oh, yes, yes, we want this. So there are two ways to get these um, trading routes open. There's uh, way number one is to kill the guys there, which is what this map is for. Or there's number two where you just build it. I prefer the building one because like the enemies have to destroy it to uh, get rid of the annoyingness of it and the overpoweredness it gives me, especially since I'm British. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, I actually start off with a market. Righteous. I'm 
probably gonna need to change up my strategy <laughs> since I haven't played this for like Heil? a couple months. Okay, these event? children are getting me stuff. Uh, I need a house actually. Now, houses are important for me because, like, houses pr uh, houses provide like oh this many Focus people there, can like exist. So below the green bar, there's like a 7 out of 20. That's how many people are currently living in this area that we are trying to conquer. And the military takes up uh, population. The people take up population. But here's the reason why I like the British. When you build a house, you get a person. Uh, mills are too expensive. I'm probably going to have to use my next uh, XP boost from the Queen to get cheaper mills. Uh, ooh. Also, ready. Um, I'm going to talk about deck building quickly just because I want to like get this out of the way. Okay, let's snipe those people. So deck building it is completely amazing. One. You get to choose the play style you want to play. So since I have so many stuff at the beginning to age. Okay. At the t I'm going to need to like do a tutorial on this. So let's go to the beginning of the game. Yes. At the top of the middle of the screen, there's the word discovery age. Okay, I'm going to run away because those guys can wreck my yes. buddy. Jay the warrior. I think that was name like way before I can. Okay. Advanced Mills. Let's get it. But yeah, I I just got the team. Let's build houses faster. Commandment? Yeah. That's like the best thing to get at the start of the game. Which, um... Uh, normally I'd be playing defensive, but since I'm in the middle-ish of our group, as you can see in the circular map, so I am by pink, red, and yellow. Those are my allies. Yellow and red are on the outside. So if I was playing an online game with friends, they'd like be posting, um, let's see, what's it called? Outposts and walls. So the Ready. enemies can't get me and the pink dude. Well, we just Ready. set up an absolute army to wreck them. Ready. That's normally our strategy. But if I end up on the outside, which is normally what happens, then I'd be the one to the, the outposts. Of your I'd also as be uh, using... Sunshine. What? I see the movement of your patrol. Oh yeah, I met his hero. Hi. He's this dude's like ready to destroy me. Um. You won. Shoot, I lost my train of thought. So yeah, this is basically yes. a strategy game. Nope, snipe and run. Ascend! Also, that works. Uh, can I shoot him? No, I'm gonna lose way too much health on my buddy. Right. So this is like my warrior. I only named him Jay. Well, actually, I named him the entire thing. Um. So yeah, there's the map. You can use it to like quick travel to your place. Um, I've got a farm going, because, like, it's good. Okay, I need more, uh, let's see, uh, I want to do it before I shoot. Advanced plantation, I'm not gonna get into that, but the cotton plants, like, once you go up in age, so, back at the top center, the discovery age, like, there's a green bar filling in. I should have made this game fast. Uh, what that is doing is like we're advancing in our culture out here and then we enter a new age for our civilization settlement. And what that does is um, we can build more things, we get better items you when won't. we go visit the homeland. Uh, we could in, uh, I swear there's another thing. Uh, we can upgrade right. items, which is great. 
If you have the like, if you have the chance to upgrade, do it. Don't just wait. Like, I'd rather have one outpost uh, level two than two outposts level one, because you only need one guy to build the outpost. Then you can go back to the work where well, the outpost upgrades itself. It's beautiful. And see, we've entered a new age, so I'll now we can. Okay. Tillier. We've got way event? too many gold. So, now that we've entered the new age, now we can build a church, we can build barracks, we can build uh, the stables and the artillery. Yes. Like, we've just gone out. Okay. You killed the last dude, I need XP. Um, XP or whatever this provides. It's mainly just XP, but sometimes it's like, oh, you can get gold meat and wood. Hiya? So let's talk about the trading thing. So once you've killed the people, Wished. or like built via the natural resources, then you receive your own set of natural resources. Ready. So every yes. time a little cart thing goes across that road, then we can get like what we want. So currently it's set to XP, so let's, uh, what do I want? I would go with wood since I'm on that, but, I'm thinking of gold because it costs a ton of gold to get uh, one of the cannons I like. And then via, via my British hometown portal, I can get an upgrade to make him even more powerful. Let's see. I'll, I'll just leave it on XP for now. I don't know. Okay. Um, hometown. See, now I've got more of this. Um, two outposts. Advanced arsenal. And... Let's see. Let's do this. Do we know Sabella's Ready. colony has reached the colonial age? Poster. Now, normally I shouldn't, like... I shouldn't brag about reaching the colonial age first, because usually I get, like, it bites me in the butt. Okay. Yes. You built there. You won. So this is the outpost. Uh, you defend him while it's in the process. And did I only get one? I thought I got. Oh wait, no, that's that's from the age upgrade. The hometown send stuff. So now that we've got the racks, we've got the longbowmen, we've got the pikemen, and we've got the musketeers. Okay. Um, when training, you can do up to five at a time. The process doesn't slow down or speed up. Let's see, I can't upgrade. Next one, 1,200 me. Yes. Oh boy. Kyle. Yes. Um. E wall. Let's see. Where I want you up there just to keep my folks safe, and I want you to join at the outpost oh, yes. because I. Okay. So the thing that I want to do with Ready. these outposts is, uh, I want to get a fort there. And yes, Even I can do so. that via the uh, via the homeland. So looking, um, the teammates are mainly scouring out the land for me. Though I am the stronger, um, I know you, you will still trees, contribute to this alliance. You can see rocks. I believe you can see animals and those white X's if you see any. Come on, there's one like near the bottom. That's where treasure is. Sometimes looted treasure, sometimes non-looted treasure. Uh, just depends. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about. Um, you can increase people's hit points, you can increase attack, you can upgrade things, yada yada yada. There's the three resources. Um, yeah, that's just basically the basics, which is what I want to get off before next episode. Um, the market is basically an upgrade place along with the arson, Come on, uh, the arsenal. Yes. Okay. 
Forced trees down. do run out, and there's some berry bushes, yes, so do animals, sadly. Okay, woman, I want you to build the artillery system. Uh, here. Okay, hold on. Let's... Richt. See, the problem is I have to play with the disadvantage because, like, Ready. there are some areas right. that I can't touch the screen because that's where the recording thing is. So let's go up over here. And if we go down, I think there's more bad guys down here. You shoot them. So, currently in my group, there's six people, five musket men. That's the center, and then my adventurer. Yes! My adventurer can build um, trading posts. He can also build a town hall for like our second town. And he's got a special ability where he can snipe me. And I really like it because, like, they lose a lot of health, and it's funny. Uh, oh boy, my wanderer's gonna go down. Now, when your, uh, when your wanderer falls down, you need to wait for a teammate to come across them when they've recovered enough health. Or you can just pay money and they go back to, like, the town square. So I'm just gonna leave him there. Let's get our second one. Um... I don't know what to make this one. I have no way for like natural gold income without risking losing that rock nearby. And that rock nearby is really nice. Um, I don't mind losing the bushes because like I've got the mill going and the mill provides constant food. I like Bask Lonzo in people. my glory as we dismantle this that. town. Good job, uh, Queen Isabella. You're attacking Wished. the enemy. Uh, normally, it takes an army to get rid of those guys. So, ready? Don't know why I said it like that. But yeah, that's just basically the basics. You go up in age and. The uh, advancement. Uh, you can click the map, all that stuff. But yeah, Come I on think. Them. Yes. Okay, don't get distracted, boys. Yes. I think that's all we're gonna talk about for this episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Because if I'm gonna actually take Age of Empires three seriously, please give it a like. Um, I hope you enjoy your.